More than a dozen schools in Lansing are underperforming and in need of assistance. That's according to a new report from the Department of Education. It's our top story at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Lauren Thompson. Education officials released a list of more than 200 schools that are considered to be low achieving. And now those schools will partner with the state in hopes of improving their performance. Several mid-Michigan schools are named, including 13 in the Lansing School District. Josh Sanchez is here for you now with more on what this will mean for the students in the Lansing School District. Josh. Sherry and Lauren, the, school dis the Lansing School District is one of more than 50 districts that are in need of state partnership, according to the Department of Ed. This program focuses on schools performing at the bottom 5%, with graduation rates below 67%. 13 Lansing schools, including all three high schools, are listed to be in need of comprehensive support and improvement. State Superintendent Michael Rice says in a statement, the need for help is due to the pandemic, as well as years of underfunding. I spoke with recently elected school board members members for Lansing schools who are cautiously optimistic about the idea. You know, the goals that some of the board has right now, those are outcomes, the attendance, the enrollment, you know, all the feel good stuff. But those are byproducts of us having a better product. I think as we improve the outcome for individual students and educators, so they can, uh, they have the best chance of affecting the outcome for the individual student. Um, that will take care of some of these problems with the M step that will take care of some of the problems with graduation. LSD Superintendent Ben Scholdener says his staff wants to do the best for students, but the district has a history of low performance. He added the district has already implemented programs to support student success, but needs to do more. Quote, we welcome this partnership with MDE so that together the school district and the MDE can better serve our students and our community. This report comes as the district has yet to finalize a new strategic plan. Lansing Schools was not the only mid-Michigan district on that list. Schools from Holt, Grand Ledge, Owasso, and Jackson were also on that list. We'll have more at 6 News at 11.